Jesus, welcome to the Power of Purpose Africa with me, Anthony NM. It's another exciting edition. We are still dealing with the church at the crossroad, discussing with church leaders on how to navigate and deal with church issues. Welcome to this episode of the day. Apost uh, Prophet, how are you? I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Uh, how are you, man of God? It is a blessing and a pleasure to have you. Amen. Thank you so much. We have been looking forward to host you. Amen. Thank you very much indeed. I'll go straight to the point, Prophet. Blessing. That's welcome. Tell me about the prophetic council. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I greet all the viewers and uh, I greet everyone, the leaders, the servant of God in totals, in all region. May God bless you. And a welcome to open these discussions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, my name is Prophet Blessing Shati Pamba. I'm overseer on the Prophetic Council in Namibia. Um, the Prophetic Council mm -hmm. it is a is, is, is a body of Christ. Mm -hmm. For the reason of the Prophetic Councils is to unite the Christian mm -hmm. into oneness of Christ yes. in one spirit. Okay. So we had been in the defile that the body of Christ was so divided. Okay. And the God had been instructed to me mm -hmm. to this occasion to open the door of the prophetic council in Namibia. Mm -hmm. It had been instructed for more th uh, three years ago. Okay. And then it has established, we do a launching this year mm -hmm. on, f on 4 uh, June mm -hmm. uh, this year, 2022. Mm -hmm. So we have been officially open our office. It is uh, in Nara Business Center mm -hmm. in Katutura. Yes. So I'm operating there. We well, we also having the executive body that mm -hmm. are represented. That's the leader, the pastors, the apostles, mm -hmm. and uh, the prophetic council. It is also standing by five fourth ministers. Okay. So since the instruction by instruction of the of uh, of the Bible as our constitution, mm -hmm. so we had been found that also that the church needed to have first apostle, mm -hmm. first uh, second prophet, mm -hmm. the third uh, uh, pastors, mm -hmm. evangelists and uh, the teacher of the word. Mm -hmm. So now when we had been found that uh, we are only in the church, but we are not doing like the Bible artist says. Mm -hmm. So now we're here, and I'm here to be f to fulfill the mandate of the prophetic council into right. a nation. Yeah, we're having a platform where we are communicated. Mm -hmm. We're having the WhatsApp group we call uh, God Voice to a Nation, mm -hmm. and we have a second uh, WhatsApp group that is more the most of the pastors more can also be connected mm -hmm. to the the voice uh, the, uh, the voice to uh, the voice Namibia Voice to a Nation or mm -hmm. Namibia Voice to a prophetic nations okay so then from that pro those program we communicate and we share more ideas from region to regions now prophet that is a very very great uh, initiative and the god call that you have from god uh to be able to establish this my, my question is that there were already existing other councils where you not be able or your churches be able to fit in those councils well it's a good question um Man of God, the, as we had been aware, that uh, there was not a body that can speak on the prophetic matters. Okay. Yeah, the each the prophetic matter. This is a highest body that reveal the secret things, mm -hmm. and for unknowns that will be known. Okay. So now, for the prophetic, it had been. The office for all these years, the, those body they was not represented. They cannot able to handle the prophetic. Okay. So they can only handle some the issue but not in the fullness mm -hmm. of the prophetic matters okay so on to operate on the prophetic council mm -hmm. <coughs> it is require a seven fourth spirit that mm -hmm. god give to seven church mm -hmm. and the seven spirit to seven trumpets. yes because when the end time come mm -hmm. we know who we are and that we are not to let the gospel mm -hmm. be broken down Wow. So we are here to defend the gospel mm -hmm. and the defending the word of God. Amen. That was just, um, I've been following your work. I know you were in the north meeting some churches. Yeah. You, you are doing quite amazing work, amazing work, uh, Prophet. Amen. Um, beside that, the mandate of your prophetic counsel, mm -hmm. because we, we know that... Uh, 
as much as we have true prophets, uh, the Bible also says in the end times shall rise false prophets. Yes. Uh, w what is your direction as much as the churches are rising and uh, uh, prophets are rising, which is uh, a good thing, but uh, with in line with the word where the Bible says some shall rise as false prophets, what does your constitution say in terms of regulating the prophets? Mm. Uh, well, uh, it's, thank you for the, for the question. Uh, mm. We have uh, a three different level of the prophetic. Okay, great. And we have three different level of the anointing. Mm -hmm. So the anointing number one, it is the anointing of Jeremiah. Okay, great. The anointing of Jeremiah, it is had been God before God made before Jeremiah was born, mm -hmm. Jeremiah was called by God. Amen. And he called him a prophet. Okay. He also ordained him when he was in the mother's womb. Mm -hmm. So now the anointing of Jeremiah is the anointing was that in already in him. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this anointing, it is a very scary anointing. It's mm -hmm. not for everyone. Yes. So now this is a, a first office. Mm -hmm. So now, then we are having a second office. Mm -hmm. The second office is the anointing on you. Okay. The anointing on you, it will only operate on you while for certain period. Mm. But also this anointing can be expired or can be exposed on because if it's not doing well. Mm -hmm. but either by the work of the devil or by the manipulation of the work of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to the third office. Mm -hmm. The anointing on the on, 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 on the th anointing, the third anointing, mm -hmm. it is operating on 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 of you mm -hmm. because somebody can pray for you for this man of god mm -hmm. and that this man of god receive mm -hmm. the blessing of the anointing of this man of god mm -hmm. when he receive the anointing he will start to operate can receive the operating miracle mm -hmm. and the sign and wonders will follow yes but it is not means that this will not be corrupt mm -hmm. it is a sensitivity when it's coming to the prophetic office Amen. it is need somebody who have been understanding the seven spirit mm -hmm. and also understand this the work of the seven church mm -hmm. and then we able to to match Amen. from the new jerusalem that is powerful yeah. that is powerful prophet uh wh what would be the difference of these spirit you're talking about from the holy spirit well what is the distinction yeah the no different of the spirit i'm talking is the holy spirit that mm. i speak about okay yeah the differences it is said that we you have been asked so there is some they say they are fast prophets mm -hmm. and they are true prophets mm -hmm. but both of them for you to recognize is say we want to recognize by the fruits mm -hmm. the fruit of the spirit mm -hmm. you know that this is the really the true the characters mm -hmm. of the true servant of god mm -hmm. so you say test them by the spirit that's the reason you see that as a prophet, I come out because I know who I am, I know what I'm carrying. And so uh, this is what I have, I give it to a nation. Mm -hmm. by, command of the go by, the, by command of the word of God, mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ, he had been, as I was instructed, so I would do the work of God. Amen. And let the other people see the light. Mm -hmm. I will not to put down the light under the table. Yes. I will take it on the top so people will see. We'll be able to and see. so let they may come upon the light. Yeah, so yes. that for the salvation of my soul, not necessarily my benefit, mm -hmm. not necessary for the nation and our generation, mm -hmm. but will not perish because carry the wisdom of God. Oh, that is awesome. We, we had this issue. Why I ask that is mm -hmm. there's this issue that, uh, uh, in the newspaper of a prophet from Rindu mm -hmm. who had uh, slept with uh, most of the women in his church. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he was anointed. And uh, so there are people who could tend paint your name bad with mm -hmm. such things. Mm -hmm. um, so when people are coming to you, to register as a prophet or as a prophetic church, what are some of the things do you look at uh, in order to approve so that such people uh, do not be part of you and then they will end up messing the whole process? Well, well, what are some of your requirements? That's wonderful. Um, the, the requirement for... We is by evaluating by the spirit. Okay. Before we've done that, we have been called Dinator's Commissions mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Okay. The Coordinator Commission, they have a less possibilities mm -hmm. to overview what's happening in every region. Mm -hmm. So if we find a prophet who had been misbehaved, mm -hmm. we call him to the disciplinary committee. Mm -hmm. We have a disciplinary committee that will able to overview, to check the circumstances mm -hmm. and how this 
prophet behave mm -hmm. and handle the community. Yeah. When we find that he handled that way, of use of evil, or he not use like as the scriptures say, mm. we approach him, mm. or because we, I only call the coordinators mm. in that region, and mm. the coordinator will go in there and they talk to him, and then we brought him to 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 to, to the office, yes. and then we, if he need to be instructed in the proper, he have to be disciplined. We will discipline him if it's needed for that person to be collected, mm. be cancelled, we will cancel it. Mm -hmm. If it, this person had been using, he, he, he had to know between the word of God and the, the word <coughs> and the, the familiar spirit. Yes. So we have to separate that one. Mm -hmm. Now what the prophetic council do mm -hmm. is to educate them, to train them, to equip them mm -hmm. and also to bring them into oneness of the unity oh, in the body wow, of Christ. Wow. I, I love that approach, Prophet. I love it. Mm -hmm. Because what, what you have just uh, brought to the surface, mm -hmm. uh, the issue of the familiar spirit, mm -hmm. and that attaches itself to witchcraft powers, where some people go for, for witch powers. Mm -hmm. And uh, for you saying that you evaluate all those things, I think it brings some level of comfort definitely uh to me and to the viewers and the body of christ Amen. uh in terms of um, the word um uh, uh as theologians we call it a maneudics and um ex jesus uh how do you ensure that some of your prophets are in line with the interpret interpreting of the scriptures of the word well, um, as I have been saying earlier, say that uh, through the office of the prophetic, mm -hmm. number one, we have a seven, we have a, uh, 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 seven fourth watches. Mm -hmm. The seven fourth watches is the highest office mm -hmm. body, is the office of the prophet. The prophet will give the mandant, God give a mandant to the prophetic mantle, mm -hmm. is to dissolve difficult issues, mm -hmm. difficult matters, mm -hmm. and then make, bring back to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. If we know that this person is going away out of the scriptures, mm -hmm. we bring them in by way, communicate with them, mm -hmm. and they call the person, and they give the task, and also we also want you to say that, you have been, we hear you've done this and this and this. Don't repeat it again. Mm -hmm. If you continue then, we take now a task for us to go in there, or either we are going to give it to the police, then then we, we resolve the matter if a person disagree. I, I strongly believe that is a very best way to approach it. So what would you say to some people out there who says they, the coming of the prophetic into the nation actually has brought more confusion and, and uh, a lot of uh, bad things have happened. That's what some people are saying. Yeah, wonderful. Um, it is, um, yeah, the office of the prophet is most of accusing office. Mm -hmm. uh, when you, and also be, understand that before we have a Bible, mm -hmm. it is held to be the power of the word of the prophet. The Bible itself, it is a prophetic. Mm -hmm. And whoever to believe, will believe the word and let the word, when the word is in you, become life. When it become life, it will give light. Mm -hmm. When it give light, it give life. When it receive light, so then you're able to walk because it's a living. Mm -hmm. So the word of God is a living, whoever receives it. Yes. Amen. So I was saying, well, what do you say to people who are saying the coming of the prophets has brought a lot of bad things and into the country. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, we, we just here to collect the errors mm -hmm. that uh, they miss misinformations mm -hmm. or misfortune understanding the prophetic mm -hmm. or those who have been not guided in the world well of the prophetic. Mm -hmm. Number one, you have to be spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have to be into a wisdom that mm -hmm. glorify God mm -hmm. and the surely born of the spirit mm -hmm. and live in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And also we have also to also understand that the kind of the prophet, as there, we know that they are there, they, they, they are a lot of little challenge now. Mm -hmm. But here now, we are also, I'm also looking to have the government side, we have the community side, to have the church together. Mm -hmm. So for one voice and we work, we go one way. Oh, we, we, we thank you, Prophet. Blessing. Amen. You're doing a good job. Amen. Uh, well, what are some of the, uh, the projects are you, your organization is going to be doing in terms of helping the community, the widows and the orphans? Yeah, wonderful. Well, we had been just recently launching the Prophetic Council. It's just mm -hmm. the service for this year. Mm -hmm. So we are planning for us the program we have on the ground to help the needies. Mm -hmm. And we need, hopefully, that if we uh, um, 
we stand in the proper position that we want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, we can reach the community either from the schools mm -hmm. and from the villages, from the communities, that way it is needed. Mm -hmm. So we need to help the communities. All know what we need. If we can have the fund for us to be able to lift the community, we will do so day-to-day mm -hmm. -day activities. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how are you going to be working with other councils? Uh, I heard recently there's just a pro apostolic council. I think I saw a poster, something like that. So you have other councils that have been uh, been there that uh, you said they were not addressing uh, some of the issues the prophetic were facing. Uh, how are you going to be working with these councils as a body of Christ in, in, in terms of bringing unity into the body of Christ? Yeah, we, we are having the program on the ground. Mm -hmm. And this program is to reach the servant of God in difference regions mm -hmm. so uh, working also by region to region mm -hmm. and they get them also get the message those that are not get the message yeah and also we also communicating to also radios and the tv so we can send our message ahead mm -hmm. so that they get the message yeah they need to understand that one you only when you are on your office mm -hmm. you understand the work of your office yes you understand the pro your professional mm -hmm. so i have been op in the office of the prophetic mm -hmm. i have been understand i have been graduated on the prophetic mm -hmm. so i have been understand the work on the office of the prophet. prophetic yeah yeah but I, I was talking about in terms of other councils like uh, council of churches uh collusion of churches accn how are you going to be working with those councils yeah wonderful um we had to be beginning uh, the uh, communicating with them to in terms of um, uniting the body of Christ mm -hmm. w to remove division mm -hmm. and uh, allow unity allow for us to talk one language mm -hmm. we, we not necessarily we are in the body of Christ and we are divided mm -hmm. there's no way one say no I am only an arm I don't need the head mm -hmm. I am only a, a, a legs I don't need an arm mm -hmm. so this this differences that is why we say we need um, the prophetic council mm. is come to fulfillment mm. all the prophetic council or prophetic council to work together mm -hmm. so now as we having now the five fourth ministers yes, yes. if we have the five fourth ministers mm. working together as a team we have a strong government we have a strong nation mm. we have a strong church yes. the body of christ will be really taking off the, because that is the foundation of what we need end of the day if we are not taking care of the of the body of christ mm -hmm then the government will not stand mm -hmm. the nation will not stand mm -hmm. and they also the family they will be divided mm -hmm. so we have been finding that some of the apostle pastors there in the region or prophet there in the region they are dividing their the way of giving the prophetic mm -hmm. uh, prophecy mm -hmm. it is unmaturities mm -hmm. so we need to now call them educate them guide them mm -hmm. train them equip them mm -hmm. and so that they can follow the good proceeding of the prophetic oh, that is a good thing yeah. that is that is a very very good thing yeah um <clears throat> I, i'm still wondering how you're going to be you you, are, you have emphasized the fivefold ministry mm -hmm. apostles prophet pastors teachers evangelist <clears throat> of the word uh since you are more on prophetic your counsel yeah. How do you help the other ministries? Because they will feel left out. Be like, oh, this is for profit. I'm a pastor. Mm -hmm. How do I come and join the prophetic ministry uh, to be helped when we feel like this is for profit? And this is how do you help them? Um, as we say, it's a five fourth ministers. Mm -hmm. It is include the pastors. We are not excluding them. Okay. They are part of. So the they can come and register. They can come and register. Mm -hmm. So we need all of them that are like the prophetic uh, ministry, Pentecostal, charismatic, mm -hmm. and apostolic. Even included, we say it's non denominational. Mm -hmm. They are here to come to the table. Let us talk one language. Mm -hmm. Let us agree. Let us not. Why we have to be divided? No yeah. matter the church is from England, mm -hmm. let we discuss here yes. and sort out the issues. Mm -hmm. If it's from Britain, let us show to the issue here and come to the one, one, one answer on the benefit of our people, on the benefit of our government, on the benefit of the church, of the body of Christ, unite and walk in the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love, I love, I love that um, you 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 have the spirit for for unity, and you are looking forward to see the church beginning to work together. I, I think that that's gonna be very very important. Amen. Um, I, as we almost come to the end, I would want to ask. Uh, I, I've asked a little bit about it, but I want to clarify it. Um, 
right now beside poverty uh one of the major things why the church has failed mm -hmm. to speak to the political powers mm -hmm. one of the major thing uh, and 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 and, and uh, the research says the fall of rome mm -hmm. was not the fall from outside rome wasn't conquered by by armies from the outside rome was ruling the world mm -hmm. the fall of rome was fallen because of morality uh -huh. uh, out of all the uh the kings of rome only two were not homosexual the rest were homosexual uh, and they say because of their immoral conduct their lifestyle mm -hmm. uh, Rome begin to fall down mm -hmm. now we see the same thing in the church mm -hmm. um, well the issues of morality mm -hmm self-discipline mm -hmm. and and all other guidance that a man of god should have mm -hmm. can you tell me some of your ethics in your constitution um the ethic is uh, the principle is when we have been approaching to this minister mm -hmm. number one spiritual maturity mm -hmm. number two we have to make sure that in this so, so when you say spiritual, god, when you say spiritual maturity what do you mean Spiritual maturity, the person must say, understand. Mm -hmm. If he is seen, if he is seen, especially on the prophetic, mm -hmm. he has to understand the prophetic spirit. Mm -hmm. That how is the prophetic have to function in prophecy and in the word and in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So he has to understand all this. Yes. Because now we having different uh, uh, work that we have to evaluate. Mm -hmm. Number one, we people we have, they have begin with denomination. Okay. And then we come into a church mm -hmm. and then now we are going to a kingdom mm -hmm. so now when we are into a church everyone divided on his church mm -hmm. when we are in the denomination mm -hmm. government and the nation are divided mm -hmm. when we are in the kingdom yes. we are speaking one language we are not separated uh, so yeah. there's no way for us we separate we need the separation mm -hmm. we need for us to walk in unity in the love of god in one spirit in christ in one god one 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 body so mm -hmm. then the freedom is manifest so that, that is so profound man of god that is so profound found yeah. uh, in light a little bit more on the kingdom that you, you are saying de de depending on pastor anton your prophet blessing uh, uh, uh it is only being in the kingdom that actually brings people to speak in one voice that is so profound can you can you give more light about the body of christ coming to the kingdom yeah wonderful um the kingdom it is has principle mm -hmm. The principle of the kingdom, there's mm. no jealousy. Okay. Good. There's no competition. Mm. There's no envy. Yes. In the kingdom, there's no mine. Mm -hmm. There is ours. Mm -hmm. We. Yes. So that is the journey we are taking together. Oh, yeah. So when we are walking one way together, agree in the Bible, mm. and we take that is the way that we know that, no, this is what true. Mm. This is what the word say. Mm -hmm. So now we have pastors. Mm -hmm. We, uh, let me say we have church yes and then we have denomination okay and then we have the kingdom mm -hmm. so now the level of the denomination already begin mm -hmm. now we are on the level of the kingdom wow. for this season Jesus. and then now we are upon the end time our message for end time that jesus christ is on the cross though is 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 on the door for breakthrough mm -hmm. so we have to prepare the church to be ready mm -hmm. we have to prepare the servant of god to be ready mm -hmm. we have to prepare ourselves to be ready in any at most time mm -hmm. so that if we prepare everything shall be well with us and it will be well with the body of christ mm -hmm. now concerning the unity concerning that you have been asking the how i will go to unite with the the the, 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 the other council mm -hmm. so we have been begin with the relationship for us to come together and then we, we they will know what we are doing yes. because that is what it was bringing a gap because the office of the prophetic council was not there okay. so that's why the prof the, the national uh, uh, council mm. was having difficulties to operate with a prophetic council okay so because they will not know how to prophesy and they now know this prophecy is true or not true mm. so now we need a prophet for him to give elevation mm -hmm. about the prophecy so now we having a, a, a uh, prophetic ambassadors, uh, um, uh, prophetic of liberations, commissions, mm -hmm. that they having a less possibility, especially on the council, to coordinating 
the whole church. We have now to have mostly evangelical Lutheran church, Anglicans, and all the other uh, other, other denomination. Mm -hmm. So we wanted them all together. So as they get a message, this is only a message to them and to a nation, so that we have to unite. We cannot be divided. No matter you, the church start in England or starting the Red Sea or starting the Black Sea or starting the Mediterranean, so Mediterranean Sea mm -hmm. or so way, we have to be united. Why? We have to speak one language, mm -hmm. and we for one Christ, and for one God. Now, a uh, prophet blessing, if a man is a pastor, is he allowed to ordain a prophet or train a prophet? If he's a pastor, mm -hmm. uh, the, must, the matter it is the spirit of revelation, mm -hmm. that what God say, because what is the fruit of that spirit is, it can be mm -hmm. because God will use who is nobody to be no somebody. Mm -hmm. We will not know because only till the spirit, you know the spirit, what the spirit yes. says. But because the, 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 that is a, uh, um, it's a characters of, uh, you say, maybe you say it's a prophet, uh, this one will say it's a pastor. They may have the same spirit. Mm -hmm. they, they will be the same people mm -hmm. with the same God, mm -hmm. one God, one Jesus. They are mm -hmm. not different. Mm -hmm. What is different? The anointing can be the same, mm -hmm. but the differences is office, mm -hmm. but yet they serve one God. Okay. So, but it's very possible what you're saying is that the yeah, pastor it is possible. can ordain and, and train a prophet. Yes, that is that not has a... Oh, okay. Yeah. So they are, they are all, uh, the fivefold ministry operate under... In one umbrella. One umbrella, yes. which is the power of the Holy Spirit yes. and Jesus Christ yes. and, and all that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, because I was thinking about the, the great men of God that uh, lived before us, you, you know... Uh, the Leonard Bunkers, where they would pray for the dead mm -hmm. as an evangelist, mm -hmm. and the dead would rise. Mm -hmm. uh, are not real stuff that it has been documented over and over. Mm -hmm. uh, the evangelist, uh, Dr. Nevis Mumba, uh, amazing, where within that calling mm -hmm. established barber schools and churches so i, was, I just wanted because i normally feel i normally hear some people saying um, no this one is higher this one is low so i was trying to get mm -hmm. uh, the quality in that yeah um the only uh, challenges we have man of god is a competition 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 in the gospel is unbreakable mm -hmm. Competition in the kingdom of God is unapplicable. Mm -hmm. Competition in the body of Christ, it is not mm. needed. Mm. So now, and the, the title, title, we say now this one is greater, this one. Oh, let us be in one spirit, in a unity, and in the love. Mm. Because we are, have hope mm. for Christ. Mm -hmm. We have hope for the kingdom, so that w we will walk and we will win. Mm -hmm. when we are in one spirit and in one words amen amen, amen. so i think uh it's very very imperative uh for the body of christ to understand mm -hmm. that the body of christ wasn't meant to uh, operate in um in competition jesus said it better he says in john 17 father from verse 21 i pray that there may be one so as you and i are one mm -hmm. And, and it's very, very important. Mm -hmm. But in our closing, yeah. we don't see prophets mm -hmm. uniting and working together with pastors, mm -hmm. teachers, or evangelists. So how do we begin to show people this unity? This is was they, that's why they were afraid mm -hmm. to come out because they did not know the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because the, the prophetic, when we are, talk about the kingdom, it, there is the kingdom has functions how the kingdom has to operate mm. and it has to operate on the words yeah. as it is but for you to realize for you to approve that is true mm -hmm. it's based on the spirit then look upon the fruit of the spirit and then you know this is what god say and where they are to agree then that is what the spirit say okay <clears throat> we have seen many councils mm -hmm. come and die mm -hmm. How will your counsel be different? 
Yeah, we are different because let me say that uh, in Namibia before there was not a prophetic council. Okay. And for the question why it was not there, I don't know. Separation of the church mm -hmm. and we are moving to the kingdom. And this is where we are. No, Prophet Blessings, thank you so much. It has been a blessing to have you. you, you what would, you, would be your last words? Yeah, um, yeah thank you for, for my last word. Just a more to, to walk away from the, um, us, the body of Christ, mm -hmm. and as a nation, and as the church, and as a, a government. Mm -hmm. To walk away from saving idol okay. in the land. Mm -hmm. We have to walk away from all the, 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 the pagan ways of saving idols mm -hmm. using the spirit of ancestors to speak for us on behalf of God. Mm -hmm. So God had been spoken at several times unto me and they said, this is what is happening in the land. Before the thing happened in the land, we know. Mm -hmm. So, and there's some of this information. We have also reaching also the different uh, uh, platform or ministry mm -hmm. to explain that, to tell them this is what's happened. Because anything done in the secret chambers, mm -hmm. it will reveal and come to the light. Mm -hmm. And that is how the power of God is taking us to another level. Amen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the church at the cross where we unpack critical issues in order to bring the body of Christ together. And uh, I've been having a privilege today to talk to the great man of God, Prophet Blessing. Please follow and share. Let's continue to discuss, comment. This is an amazing, amazing platform. Until then, God bless you. Thank you, Master Tony. May God bless you. Thank you, Thank so you very much for your invitation. Th May God bless you. Thank you so much, Amen. Prophet. We can work together from uh, No, no problem. Amen. No problem. That will be